After years of research and development, robots have completed preparation to enter the commercial market. As years of robotic businesses begin to see fruit, robots are edging past the development stage and becoming a part of daily living. Let's find out more. A robot is moving through the alley of the hospital by itself. Inside the box, there is blood collected from patients to be examined by medical officials. Robots are helping transport the blood collection between buildings in the hospital. This is an unmanned medical transfer robot which is being utilized at hospitals through a trial program. The robot transfers blood cells, tissue, surgical devices with safety and precision, replacing people. We need a lot of people for surgery. One type are people who transport devices for simple surgeries. Robots can be a substitute for those people. The moving track of the robot is controlled by a landmark sensor attached on the ceiling. So once departure and arrival points are set in the system, the robots will move within the path without leaving the tracks. Whenever an obstacle pops up on the path, the robot can automatically halt its movement or move past the obstacle. This is thanks to the precision razor scanner, ultraviolet sensors and cameras in the robot. The robot adopted a self-recognition system technology that enables it to understand the complex environment of hospitals and safely move past obstacles to transport products. As it can be seen here, the result of the trial robot program that began in 2011 is beginning to see its fruit through the commercialization of products. For an effective kickoff of the robot market, R&D is insufficient. It is absolutely necessary to have a trial program such as the establishment of test beds to commercialize these R&D products. As the supply of robot is becoming significant, the Minister of Knowledge Economy plans to begin another trial service in March, which will be organized by seven related government ministries.